Hi there, I'm Danielle Miller, and I'm here because I'm frankly disappointed and frustrated with the attack ads against Newt claiming that he will take away abortion rights. I'm not surprised, however, um, it's simply not the attack ads. Um, it's simply not true, and it's a formula in these type of ads that people like me who are not in politics but really care about our civic life easily recognize, and it's just simply nonsense. Women's rights is a very important issue to me. And as a Democrat, before I decided supporting Newt as a Republican, I had to know, not guess, but know that Newt is pro-choice. When I looked at his record and the fact that he voted the Oregon Health Authority budget both cycles, which includes public funding for abortion, that he opposed the National Republican Affordable Care Act replacement plan, in part because it would restrict access to essential health services for women, including abortion, and that right to life groups didn't endorse him in the primaries and don't intend to endorse him in the general election either. It really gave me no doubt that Newt is pro-choice. It has also been upsetting as a mom of school-aged children to read continuously about school districts who have to lay off amazing teachers and cut necessary programs because the governor has not reformed PERS. It seems that she is pushing this off to a task force and having them figure out what could be done and not taking action and implementing any of these um, changes. Newt is a bright light offering an ambitious plan to end the classroom funding crisis and help to get our kids stay on track to graduate and to be successful. I'm supporting Newt because he dares to challenge the status quo with thoughtful proposals that I believe will bring the change we need in this state. Thank you again, once again, Newt, for stepping up. <laughs> and now I'd like to turn it over to Kim Grimmie.